Hello, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content, process, and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise, and I'll tell you all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject is implementation planning, a key part of this special certification which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association, helping users understand how to best manage documents, content, records, and business processes. This module is part of the Plan and Implement Knowledge domain, one of six within the certification program. In it, we'll explore the main elements of good project planning, including scope, task decomposition and critical path, Budgets, Schedule, and Required Resources Project planning involves a number of critical steps in which the initiative's objectives are initially broken down and preliminary estimates are prepared regarding costs, timetable, and required resources. Effective plans incorporate ideas from both the people executing them and those having it inflicted upon them. Hence, it's important that it includes ways to resolve conflicts between these two groups and among all other affected stakeholders as well. The first step is to determine the project scope, which is the work that needs to be accomplished to deliver the specified features, functions, and ultimately results. A good job here makes it easier to detect and deter scope creep, which is not an unlikable person, but rather a term that refers to the incremental expansion of the project to include or introduce things that may not have been part of the initial spec and do not lead to the adjustment of the schedule, resources, or budget. Next, the identified tasks are decomposed, or broken into smaller tasks, grouped by logical dependencies in order to determine which can be done in parallel, and which are those whose completion is required before further progress can be made. Those falling into the latter category are said to be on the project's critical path, and generally are given a priority when their time comes in order to ensure no bottlenecks arise that can interfere with on-time completion. Now that the tasks have been identified and their priority determined, estimates can be prepared regarding schedules, costs, and resources, technical and human, for each task and overall. The result here is a baseline against which future progress and possible instances of scope creep will be measured. All of this is prelude to the nitty-gritty of implementation planning, which specifies in detail how a solution actually is to be designed, built, tested, and deployed. According to the MIC2 Open Source Standard for Information Management, this should be an iterative process after a point, as feedback from earlier activities inform and improve those that follow. In MIC2, there are five basic phases to be planned and executed upon as follows. Phase 1 is the business assessment, which forms the basis of the strategy for the entire implementation. Phase 2 is the technology assessment, which determines where your organization is in terms of its current technology and where you want to go with the technology that ultimately will be deployed and where the gaps are between the two. Phase 3 involves the information management roadmap which is built by gathering everything that's been assessed in the first two phases and leveraging it to build the working system. This forms the basis of which tasks, features, and functions take priority as the project moves forward. Phases 3, 4, and 5 are approached as an iterative loop in which the solution build-out leads to design increments based on the roadmap and foundation activities, iterative development and testing, deployment, and continuous improvement. This module has explored the main elements of good project planning, including scope, task decomposition and critical path, budget, schedule, and required resources, and implementation planning. Having completed it, you may wish to review the module on software development methodologies. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the information certification exam. This proctored test consists of 100 multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing, you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org 
slash certification. Thank you.